Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, so we've got another tutorial here. Looking at his Instagram right now. Uh, his links will be down in the description for you guys. So head over there. If you like his work, give him a follow down there. So let's just take a quick look at his Instagram. So straight away, quite a lift to the blacks. That gives that real shine there and then flatness to the image. So you can see how flat that looks right there. We've got some bright highlights there. We've got some dark blacks and it's all very nicely smoothed out. So you can see that in quite a few images that we get that silky smooth look. So it's going to be fun to try to recreate uh, mostly done with the curve flattening down a lot of the image and then bringing up the shadows and the curves we've got quite a bit of saturation bringing up the vibrance most likely those oranges really pop the greens pop blues pop quite a bit as well so we are working with an image like this one it's not this one but it's like this one and if you guys also really like his work you like how dramatic his contrast is check out his presets up here come down here and he has a ton of before and afters for you guys so you can come check them out i'll leave these linked down below as well so you can come directly over here back to his instagram let's create something a bit like this okay so here we have the settings 1.2 so really shallow there uh 85 mil really isolating subject low iso because it's pretty bright and then a pretty quick shutter probably just exposing the image right it's quite misty so that's why the image looks so flat so where do we start we look really warm just bring it down by a couple of hundred and then we might do the rest with split tone you can see how all our blues come back once we drop the white balance this i think that's a lot closer to where we want to be okay and then we'll just like add in a bit of contrast we'll probably come back to all these but i think the main thing we need to focus on is the curves so we'll just up saturation get things kind of to where they want to be so i'll turn on the curves obviously like what we talked about earlier was the mac his images have we need to make sure we're adding that in with the curves here so once now that we've got the curves on this is what's happening so we're just adding in contrast with the color curves because they're all the same and then so there's no color shift and then we've just got uh, a little lift to the blacks there a little drop to the whites there and we've got yeah nothing too much going through the middle our image looks a little dark and that shadows up so we can see um blacks for that little bit of crunchy contrast some highlights and uh exposure and mac is sort of looking all right now so i might revisit these or go over them right now but Okay, so let's reset all this so I can show you what it's doing. You can see how we're quite bright, like there's no smoothness to the image. And then let's just put those adjustments back. And especially these highlights, I mean these lights here, we drop that. You can see that's the that's the Mac or the, the flatness I was talking about earlier on and what I think is really important to this edit. So dropping the curve and the sliders here really allows us to get that finish. And then not, yeah, not too much going on this one. I did, I did this curve first and then I sort of finish off and tweak, tweak around with these ones after. But once more time, one more time, here is the light slider down flattens pretty much everything throughout the image because it's affecting the mid-tones a lot so let's move on uh, let's just drop our saturation a little bit uh, so back up here um, exposure a bit right as you can see dropping the whites a lot can sort of give you that Mac look as well it's not quite the same but we'll just go something like that. Um, I think we're about right for contrast. So we'll just quickly come down to saturation. Now, I wanna add in lots of blues into the split toning, so I'm just gonna drop them here for a bit, because otherwise our blues get too blue. Drop some of these. We want our oranges to pop. Bring those up a bit. Uh, reds, I feel possibly down. Uh, right. So let's, well, we'll just do this now, but pop 
pop the oranges with some luminance. And then the yellows as well. That will help our subject pop out a lot. And now let's go into split toning. I think the image looks kind of bland. So what we definitely need to do, we'll just do it now because it's such an important thing to the image is come here and go drop the exposure of a filter down the bottom here. So that's all it's doing. Uh, darken our foreground, helping our eye come up and framing our subject there. Okay, so split turning now. So this is pretty important. We are going to add in a lot of blue to the shadows. We'll go for a, a teal and then we'll bring it up to about 10 and we get all these blues now throughout the image like you start to get blues down here in the grass which we didn't have before or a lot less of and then in the highlights we're gonna go with a nice warm yellow to complement those cool blues bring it up So, kind of happy with that. I think if I look down here, like we've got more blues than oranges, like, and I'm just gonna give a bit of a favor to the cool tones by sliding it to the left. Uh, we'll come up to HSL, and this is just where we're gonna. We'll come up to HSL and just fine tune some stuff. So oranges a bit more red. Our blues more teal. Our purples. This kind of in the grass. I might go more blue. Greens, not many in there at all. I'm gonna try that. And then yellows. So there's a bit of this in the grass and stuff. And I think we need more of that warmth. You can definitely see like down in the grass here. It needs to be a lot warmer. It almost looks too green and blue. And I think that works with our subject as well. Those warmer tones. And then the reds. I feel like we don't want too many of them. So I'm actually going to go across the right. Yeah, we're good, we're good. I always just bring down purple and magenta roughly in line with the blues or a lot of the other colors reds maybe down a touch we don't really need to do that okay what we haven't done and definitely what we need to do and probably should have done earlier is enable profile corrections that definitely makes our image look brighter right grain we'll do a little bit of grain and then let's open up calibration i think like you could do it a few different ways you could do it in the curves you could do it maybe in the HSL but I think we've got too many greens in the shadows like I want to bring out even more of those oranges so I'm gonna put purple in the shadows and if you understand color theory you'll know what to do here so I'm just gonna put a little bit in the shadows maybe like it's quite heavy on the reds and teals in this image and this slider definitely does that a lot but we're just gonna do it real subtly two i think that helps bring in some oranges and warm tones and yeah i didn't think we need any sharpening or anything like that so i think we're about done so the key takeaways was probably the curve here so dropping the lights there gives that smooth mac we were after he probably did his curves differently you can sort of get the same effect a few different ways and then HSL maybe just dropping those blues and then adding in lots of blues with a split toning here's before so I didn't show you the cropping but we zoomed in a lot there really changed up the composition there before after before after here's our image and then if we click on his image there's this is his image right now and then we'll go to our image Pretty similar, back to his image, our image, yeah, I think they're pretty close, so I'll leave it there guys.
Right guys, so comment down below who you want to see so I can go reach out to them on Instagram, ask them to be part of this YouTube channel, and then also sign up for the free training on curves and color, really fundamental skills you need to know if you want to learn photo editing. So as always, I'm going to ask you to go sign up to that if you haven't already. And then for those that want to join the course, we um, have cracked 100 lessons now, I'm pretty sure. So we've got something like over 50 guest editor lessons where you get the preset raw image and the settings and the tutorial to go along with it from like 50 creators so far so i'm also there teaching you guys uh everything i know about creating these tutorials the tools in depth how tools interact with each other i've got a bunch of content coming i'm going to australia soon um just comment down below who you guys want to see check out that free training as always that's about it from me guys so hope you like this tutorial and i'll catch you in the next one okay so talking about the sponsor of this video squarespace so they have the most intuitive designs if you want to build a website and as photographers it's very important to display our work professionally so they have award-winning templates and then very intuitive tools to design your website exactly how you like so whether you want to display your galleries or sell prints do it with squarespace because they cover all your needs go to squarespace.com for a free trial play around with creating a website get comfortable with the interface and when you're ready to launch use the link down in the description to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.